Hello, everybody, and welcome to this podcast. Not a podcast. This video. Fuck me, dude. I um, am feeling a bit rough today. Had sort of a wild night. And if you listen to the live stream that I do on Sunday, November 13th, you will hear all about it. I can't remember um, when this video is going to go out, so it doesn't fucking matter. But anyway, I got a question today from someone who I will not throw under the bus here. And there were some there was some shit before to explain why the question was being asked, but I thought I would just answer the question as a whole. And the question was, was how do you review a book of poetry? And there are a few different schools of thought with this, but a lot of it depends on what kind of poetry it is. Because, and as anyone who knows me knows, if it is formal poetry, there are ways to objectively judge that piece of work, okay? Like, the, the meter, the rhyme scheme, the um, alliteration, um, there's, there's all sorts of shit. And depending on what kind of poem it is, if they follow the rules of that poem. And then once you have figured all that shit out, you can go further and talk about um, what you thought of these poems. But if um, the poetry you are reviewing is free verse which is probably what, like, 90% of the poetry you will ever look at is, especially uh, modern poetry. There really isn't a way to review this other than how you would review anything else. Like, you have to look at... I would. I mean, you, you, was, you start with each poem, you know? But, like, you could even go down to each line and just say, like, how do I feel about this line? How does this poem, how does this line make me feel? Does this line work? Um, You can go into, um, I don't know, if you think the metaphor is too lofty to where it almost doesn't make any sense. And... um, You have to, but like a good way to talk about that without coming off as a complete asshole is if you say stuff like, you know, the poet expects you to do some work to understand these poems or something like that, you know, because there are a lot of poets out there who think like it's fun and funny to be super fucking obscure so that you have to like do research. You have to look things up to try to see if there's something, something there, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's fucking stupid, but some people do that. And some readers actually like that shit. I don't, but, um, some readers do, you know, just kind of go through and say things and like, I can't remember if um, Matthew Buckley Smith said this when he was on my show or if he said it to me when I was on Slee Ricketts. But um, he was just saying, you know, like, when you start reading a poem, like, you go, okay, well, in the beginning of the poem, I felt like this. In the middle of the poem, I felt like this. And by the end of the poem, I felt like this. Like, that's kind of a, a really interesting way. Because then, especially if you're, like, workshopping something, you're not, like, insulting anybody. You're telling them how you feel when you read it. And if the poet is like, oh, shit, I didn't mean for, like, that. no, that's not the feeling I wanted you to have there then they could decide if they need to fucking fix that or be okay with how people interpret it. You know what I'm saying? And then the other thing, talking about that, reminded me of what 
Matthew Buckley Smith said the um, MFA program is like when you're putting a poetry book together where you put your second best poem first, your third best poem second, and your best poem last. And the rest of the book could just be filled with whatever. And um, I've never done that. I've never looked to see if I feel that's accurate. So I should probably do that. Um, that would be interesting to like just see if that's a thing. So like the poetry book that you're going to review, look at it and see how you feel about that. Like see if you concur with those poems being what they are. But one thing that me and Smith there, um, me, me and old Bucks, what we disagree on is he doesn't think that the poetry book, the collection, is worth a damn. He thinks everything is based on, like, individual poems, you know? And I do, too. But I also, like, I mean, I believe, like, the art form of poetry is the poem. But I also think putting together collections, no matter the size, that is an art form in and of itself, especially if you're doing stuff that's like themed, you know, like last chance for gas, you know, it's just, um, it, for a lot of poets, it takes a lot to be able to theme their book and try to figure out how to do that or write things to a certain theme. It's tricky, it's difficult. And that's why I'm always like, well, whatever your theme is, make sure it's something that you're passionate about and something that you have already written a ton about. Like, if you fucking, I don't know, like, if you love eating steak, don't write a poetry book about seafood. And if you, like, don't really like seafood, then, like, why the fuck are you writing a book of poetry about seafood? Unless the book is just about how much you hate seafood. Then I guess that would be a good book to do. So that makes sense. Eh, I don't know. So anyway, so these are just some little tips there. And then I think, too, one thing I really like to see, like, if this is a written um, review of something... Like, have some of your favorite lines and favorite, like, passages and shit, like, in the review. And if you're doing a video review, read some of the poems. I'm going to do a review um, on Bucks's book here in a bit. And um, I have a few favorite poems in there that I really dig. And so I'll be reading those. And hopefully I will do them justice. But anyway, um, I'm still trying to get coffee in me. The stream starts in 20 minutes. I got to get going. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, um, just shoot them over to IHateMountWallGmail.com or leave them in the comments of this video. And I will do another video about those questions. Okay? So keep mind my books. Oh, type hard, everybody. Type hard and don't party hard. Party less. Less, less, less. Less partying. Fuck. Oh, all right, and then I will see you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.